Your news tips are worth money. Call in your tip at 223-6059. We'll pay you cash. This is WROI News. Ninety-two point one WROI. It's now time to take a look at your local news. The news today is brought to you by Colligan of Fulton County, one twenty-nine East Fifth Street in Rochester. Call them at five seven four two two three twenty four twenty. And by Wendy's Restaurant, twenty three forty South Main, Rochester. Wendy's is way better than fast food. It's Wendy's. We're currently sitting at eighty three degrees under mostly sunny skies. Here in downtown Rochester, we'll take a look at your full weather forecast a little bit later on in your news. Rochester Lake Manitou Mayor Ted Denton was our guest on the WROI City Government Program. The mayor was bringing us up to date on city activities, and he shared this information on the 4th Street Project. I'm happy to say, my gosh, hats and horns, we are completed with Ohio Street, with the infrastructure. Finally got everything done there, and then the next phase, which is going to happen very soon, we'll be putting everything back in order down there. That street will be paved, and there'll be a sidewalk okay. down there, and some landscaping will be replaced, and it'll look pretty nice over there. He then told us what the next step is. The next phase of that would be attacking 4th Street. We've had a bit of a setback there because the 4th Street project would require a partnership going forward with the Duke folks because of all of the Duke infrastructure, the poles and stuff. And we're in close proximity to po- those poles in a couple of different areas, which require Duke to come in and hold the poles while you're doing that. And that's, that's an interesting sure process. It is. The mayor also said that project is being impacted by Hurricane Florence. Nobody anticipated right. Hurricane Florence. And I guess they have like 40 trucks down there from the Kokomo area so they're working very well with us on that and i think we're going to be able to get some help in moving forward but probably not in the time frame that we had anticipated and again that was rochester lake manitow mayor ted denton harry webb of the rochester downtown partnership program was our guest on wroi to give an update on economic development in the downtown area and he told us there's been quite a bit of activity in the downtown over the last two months we have you know, four committees on our Rochester Downtown Partnership, and one of them is Economic Vitality. And in their report today, there's been actually six buildings that have changed hands in the last 60 days. And I think most of these buildings were buildings who were basically empty with no real investment. Right. So it's rather exciting to see that there are people that are buying up these properties and inspired to turn them into something. So that's kind of an extra benefit that we didn't really anticipate. And again, that was Harry Webb of the Rochester Downtown Partnership Program. In statewide news, starting today, Hoosiers will have to pay more to shop online in some cases. The Indiana Department of Revenue will start enforcing a law passed last year. If you buy products online from out-of-state companies, you'll be charged the state's 7% sales tax. The law lets the state collect the sales tax from online retailers even if they don't have a physical store in Indiana. The state law passed back in 2017, but was then challenged and put on hold. The challenge was dismissed in a Supreme Court ruling this summer. We'll be back with a look at your full weather forecast after this. You like your water clean and refreshing, right? Only Culligan has every drinking water option for you. We have five-gallon bottles and coolers for your home or office, bottleless coolers for work, and our very efficient reverse osmosis drinking water systems for bottled quality water at your kitchen sink. We don't have a faucet or pitcher filter, because with Culligan Water, they're not necessary. For better water in your home or office, call Culligan today, 574-223-2420, serving Fulton County for 70 years. And now for something deliciously different from Wendy's. Wendy's Double Stack is still an option in the 4 for 4. With a quarter pound of fresh beef, four nuggets, fries, and a drink. That's a deal so good it should not exist. Like how owls shouldn't be able to turn their heads all the way around. Whew. Wouldn't like that deal. The four for four with your choice of a double stack, junior bacon cheeseburger, or crispy chicken BLT. A deal so great, it's impossibly good, but not for long. At participating Wendy's for a limited time, meal includes four-piece chicken nuggets, small fries, and a drink. Fresh beef available in the contiguous U.S., Alaska, and Canada. Not valid in Alaska and Hawaii. And again, we're sitting at 83 degrees under partly cloudy skies here in downtown Rochester. 
The Grissom Aeroplex is at 84. Culver is at 82. We're going to stay just like this the rest of the afternoon. We could see a south wind around 15 miles per hour. Tonight, we see a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms with a low around 66. Tomorrow, showers likely and possibly a thunderstorm, a high near 77. Tomorrow night, it'll be mostly cloudy with a low around 62. On Wednesday, we see partly sunny skies. We have a high near 84, some wind gusts up around 25 miles per hour, and a low around 70. On Thursday, we see showers likely and possibly a thunderstorm, a high near 76, a low around 58. And on Friday, showers likely and a chance of thunderstorms, a high near 79 and a low around 66. Again, 82 degrees in Culver, 84 at the Grissom Aeroplex, 83 here in downtown Rochester. This has been a look at the forecast for Rochester and all of north central Indiana. The news today was brought to you by Culligan of Fulton County. Check with them for the best water using the reverse osmosis system. And by Wendy's. Wendy's hamburgers are made fresh, never frozen, now open late. For WROI News, I'm Paul Zartman. Do you have the WROI News Tip of the Week? When you see or hear news happening, call 223-6059. If you have the top tip of the week, we'll pay you $10. That's 574-223-6059. 223-6059.